Hey everybody, Dare really here. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Dangerous Relationship with Akira Samba here. We're on Chapter 3, Certifying Our Love. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. So, how's it been? How's what been? I was talking to my friend Tomoko on the phone about life and work. We grumbled and complained about things in a carefree conversation. Your love life! Nothing has changed, really. Same as always. As dead as ever. I gave that for an answer, but for a split second, Akira came to mind. Oh, really? Sounds like you're hiding something. N no She was sharp as always. It was hard to keep anything from her, but to be honest, Akira and I really weren't anything yet. I still wasn't sure how I felt about him. I'll let you off the hook today. How about you, though? Not a here. All my charm is going to waste. <laughs> if you find someone, though, let me know. I want to watch that ship sink. Oh, that's so mean. You're convinced that it'll fail from the start? <laughs> Maybe. After a few more laughs, we ended the call. Love life. Ever since his confession, I hadn't spoken to him much at all. I saw him on occasion at work, but we never had time to talk. We messaged each other a few times, but were too busy to chat on the phone. Seeing him appear on TV was nice, at least to know he was still doing well. Of course he was still working alone since his partner was away. But... But tomorrow would be a new chance. I will be working with him tomorrow, and I was both nervous and happy at the same time. I'll finally see him again. I guess we've kind of given in to his charms. Though inside, I wasn't entirely sure about how I felt about him. I've got this. Standing outside Akira's dressing room, I said a few words of encouragement to myself. Self-affirmation. He probably wasn't here yet, but I said it anyway for when the time comes. It was time to get working, whether it was with Akira or not. I'll walk in energetically. Good morning! I shouted out loudly and washed away all my nervousness. After knocking on the door, I swung it open and went inside. Uh, should we have listened for a response in case he was in the middle of changing? Gumo Akira? He was staring back at me, looking much more confused than I felt. I had come so early I never expected him to be here yet. Let me guess, you're my stylist today. Apparently, he had no idea until now. Yeah. Never saw that coming. You're awfully early. It's just that I woke up early today. Wow, this was unexpected. He seemed even more flustered than I was. Why doesn't he look happy, though? Just then, a knock on the door surprised the both of us. Uh, good morning. Oh, nice. Both of you made it early. Morning. Oh, Akira, you're here too? A few other members of the studio staff came in and greeted us. Hello. Of course I'm here. Every gentleman arrives five minutes ahead of schedule. You came way earlier than five minutes. We're not even ready for you. Sorry. I'll go sit in the corner somewhere. Come back. I'm only joking with you. <laughs> the staff and Akira seem to get along pretty well. We'll get started with the preparations. Sit tight. All right. It seemed that Akira and I wouldn't get to talk in private after all. Can you help me with this? Sure. The staff and I made ourselves busy with getting everything ready. Akira was having some sort of discussion with another member of the staff. And that's all you want me to do? Yeah, make sure you... Their conversation caught my ear, but I had to concentrate on my own work first. I might as well get dressed now. It's as good a time as any. Okay. Yeah, we'll do the rest after you're ready. Got it. Akira picked up the clothes that I picked out for him to wear. Seeing him change into the wardrobe right before my eyes made my heart pound like mad. How is it? When he was done changing, he looked at us bashfully. I was ecstatic to see the clothes matched him perfectly. It's wonderful. You look manlier than ever. Girls are going to fall head over heels for you. <laughs> yeah, right. I could only wish. You did a good job with this, Dorilly. It's the perfect outfit for him. Wait, she picked these to wear? That's right. Hmm... It was hard for me to tell whether he was pleased or not. Of course he is! The woman he loved picked his clothes for him and he's wearing them! Anyway, I still need to wrap up our meeting. Oh, right. I interjected before they got started. What about shoes? Would these be okay? Looks good to me. What do you think? Oh, I'm fine with it. 
As they continued their discussion, I glanced at Akira's determined face. It seemed he wouldn't get even a few moments to get it seemed we wouldn't even get a few moments together to talk. Would another day go by without as much as a chance? It's about time you head to the studio. Okay. Uh, maybe we would have another chance to talk after work was over. I enjoyed talking to him, and it would be a waste not to since we were working together. I'll do my thing then. Uh, Akira smirked at me before walking away. Apparently he had been th thinking of me too. When the door shut behind him, I couldn't help but feel a bit sad. Huh. <sighs> With Akira gone, there wasn't much for me to do anymore. I would just have to wait a few hours until he was done. Uh, couldn't I go into the studio where they're filming? You're not doing anything, right? Why don't you go watch him? Yeah, exactly. It's okay for me to? It always has been in every other route. Yeah, when it comes to an audience, the more the merrier. I'll set out this time. I got things I need to pick up. Well, if you say it's alright. The prospect of seeing his live show again was thrilling. There'll be other comedians, so stay and cheer for them, too. Okay. Then, excuse me. I quietly entered the studio while a young comedian was entertaining the crowd. Looking off to the side of the stage, I could make out Akira talking to someone. For people that made others laugh, they were incredibly serious about their work. What's the matter? Hmm? I turned my attention back to the stage when I heard a voice from the crowd. Oh! The comedian standing up there looked dazed and confused. Y you know, and then, um... It seemed like they had forgotten their line and weren't sure what to do. The bewildered comedian looked around nervously, making everyone restless. Well, that ain't good. What now? The murmur of worried voices from the audience grew louder and louder. Hold it. Akira's voice suddenly rang out from across the studio. Huh? With his unplanned appearance on stage, curious murmurs grew once again. He approached the comedian on stage, making a big show out of it. <laughs> what? Did you see someone cute in the crowd and you forgot her lines? Akira waved his arm toward the audience. Or did you just get dumped by your girl yesterday or something? The comedian caught on to what he was doing and picked up the conversation. L that's right. I was just dumped for the hundredth time yesterday. That's a lot. Even I might forget my lines if I was that unlucky. With Akira stepping up to help, the atmosphere in the crowd settled back to normal. But a hundred times, really? There's no hope for you. Don't say that. Might as well give up on women. Just dedicate yourself to comedy. We have but one purpose in life, to make people laugh. You're absolutely right. Who needs women anyway? Speak for yourself. I'm still looking to make one girl very happy. A chorus of shrieks came from the women in the audience. He flashed a smile at them before glancing at the edge of the studio. Ah, I wasn't expecting it at all, so it made my heart pound that much faster. Huh? Akira, pick me! I'll be your girl! One brave woman thrust her hand into the air and waved at him. Sure thing. I'll pick you when I'm born again. With that, other girls followed, screaming his name and raising their hands up high. Looks like I'll have to live many lives to take care of this lot. Oh. <laughs> That's not fair. It's not fair at all. You'll have girls waiting for you every time you come back. Maybe you'll have one too, in another life. Oh, I'm more concerned about this one. The young comedian sulked and drooped his shoulders, making everyone laugh. Thank you. Thank you for watching Tonbi. And me, Akira Semba from Sonogi. The two comedians took a bow and departed from the stage. Looks like it worked out somehow, thanks to Akira. That's a relief. I was getting worried there. The studio staff were glad to see the act end without any further problems. It had almost been a disaster there, but Akira had stepped in and saved the day. That just shows how incredible he really was. 15 minute break, everyone. After the break, other comedians took the stage one by one, and soon enough it was Akira's turn. Hey, everyone. Akira Funsunogi here for you today. Of course he was alone since his partner was still in the hospital. While everyone else laughed at his jokes, I was too busy thinking about his situation. Yeah, is, does he feel responsible for his partner's injury somehow? His act went well, and he finished on stage in no time at all. As for me, I went back to the dressing room to do the rest of my job. Oh great, you're just who I wanted to see! When I entered the room, a staff member looked relieved to see me. Why's that? I have some urgent work to take care of. Could you handle the rest of this for me? No problem. 
There wasn't much to do but put away clothes anyway. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. I'm back. Akira, sorry, but I have to run. Something came up. They apologized to Akira as they passed each other at the doorway. Just ask the really if you need anything. Okay. They scrambled out of the room in a great hurry. Uh. Leaving just Akira and I alone in the dressing room. Isn't that what you both wanted? Good work out there. Thanks. Uh. Just us, huh? My heart throttled at the mention of it. Finally a chance to talk in private. With his charming smile glowing at me, I felt my cheeks roast with warmth. Yeah. Thanks for today. What? The clothes. I'm just doing my job. To be honest, I had given his clothes a lot more thought than I usually would have. I tried to pick out colors that would both suit his style and personality. Everyone was complimenting me. Whoops. Darn it. Everyone was complimenting me. People were saying I looked way better than I usually do. I think you always look fine. Sucking up to me won't get you anything. No? Well, maybe a drink from the vending machine. Just one? How about a year's worth? Jeez, how good am I at sucking up? Or how good I think I am at sucking up? 365 cans? I don't think there's that many in there. 366, you mean? Ah, oh, damn leap years. As usual, talking to Akira was a joyful matter. Our conversations were lively and fun. But really, thanks. Sure, I guess. I was truly honored that he enjoyed his clothes enough to thank me. I... I picked them just for you. Really? Yeah. Well, of course, it's my job. It's my job to pick the clothes to suit the person. But still, thanks. I was really happy. Huh? He lunged toward me and swooped his arms around me in a hug. Enveloped in his arms, I felt his heartbeat and the warmth radiating off his skin. Uh, his body felt so warm against mine. You're doing it again, Nakira. No sense of personal space, buddy. Our eyes met. In that instant, our lips overlapped. His kiss this time was much more gentle than before. It felt like I was melting to his touch. This is what caused the problems before, buddy. You gotta ask before you do these things. He broke away from me and stared into my eyes once again. Akira. Uh... He pushed himself away from me frantically. You just can't help it, can ya? Sorry. Yes, I know I'm irresistible. I couldn't help it. It just came over me. Even though I said I would wait to hear your feelings, I'm the worst. Akira looked pitiful. Listen, I... I liked it. Huh? So, you don't have to feel bad. Really? I slowly nodded as he anxiously stared at me. I just don't know how I feel about you yet. That was, after all, the truth. So, I'm sorry. Then... Akira placed his hands on my shoulders. Hmm? I turned my eyes up and looked at his face. Is he gonna kiss me again? That wasn't an invitation, we need some time here. He brushed his fingers across my cheeks. What? Then we just had to make those feelings clear. He made it seem like such a simple feat. How? By kissing over and over and over again? In response, he clutched my arms and pulled me close. You might know better if we kissed again. I... His lips dove in to cover mine and interrupted my words. I knew his kiss was coming, yet surprised myself for letting it happen without resistance. Mm. His kiss was soft and warm, flowing with passion. It felt like everything inside of me was melting away. Mm. Just as I thought it was ending, he showered more on my lips. It didn't look like he was intent on stopping it just one after all. Uh, mm. The more he kissed me, the wilder it became. His arms closed tighter around me. Mm. His lips dotted my skin, up from my lips to my cheeks, all the way to my forehead. They came back down to my lips and crossed over to my neck. His heavy breathing made my heart race into overdrive. Uh. He slid his hand around my waist and down my body. Uh. Moving a little fast there now. This was taking a new turn. 
<sighs> Suddenly, his hands stopped. Anything further? My heart pounded in anticipation. It's going to have to wait until you figure out your feelings. Good boy. Good thing you have some restraint. His usual dashing face peered into my eyes. <sighs> he continued speaking. Or did you want me to keep going? What was I supposed to do? Shake my head. I shook my head. I couldn't allow this to go any further without knowing how I really felt about him. You have to say it, or I won't know what you mean. Do you want more? N no I knew you would say that. Y you just wanted to tease me. I scoffed at his teasing demeanor. <laughs> Sorry, you just look so cute I couldn't help it. Jeez. I'll go change then. I stared at Akira's back as he scooped up his clothes. <sighs> Meanwhile, my whole body felt light and dizzy. I couldn't move even a muscle if I wanted to. All sorts of emotions ran rampant inside of me. Would my feelings for him ever become clear? I'm certain they will. Probably around chapter 7. <laughs> Alright, so chapter 4 will be, I want him to be proud. Of what, himself or me? We'll see in the next episode. Hope to see you there or on one of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me. And I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.